I only need four more figures. And I feel like I'm cursed because it happened again. I got yet another repro item and I bought it from an online site that I had never used before. So today we're gonna go over that scenario and how I navigated through it. So let's go. Welcome back to the journey. And yeah, it's true. I only need four more figures to complete something that I have dreamed ever since I was a little boy in the early 80s. Completing an entire collection of the Star Wars vintage action figures made from 1977 to 1985. And if you're new to the channel, please go back and watch episode one to find out how I got here. And I've learned some things, made some mistakes, traveled and met some amazing people, went on epic toy hunts, found out that this collecting community is awesome, and through it all, have managed to stay on track and on budget, at least for the most part. But lately, I have been having the worst luck when it comes to buying online. And it's not all entirely their fault. When you buy online, you are always at risk of either not getting what you're promised in the photos, having your shipment get lost, damaged, or the seller just straight out disappears into the night. Bye bye. And now it's gone to the point where I only buy from trusted sellers, especially with the figures that are more expensive in nature. And if I don't know that seller, I need to get references from other buyers that have dealt with that particular seller and have them vouch for them. It may be some extra legwork, but I'd rather be safe than out a few hundred or a few thousand bucks. But sometimes I take that risk and I venture out into new pastures. Sometimes I try new apps, sites, and sellers. And that was this case when I stumbled upon Macari. So let's take a look at Macari. So first off, it's a very inviting site. I mean, look at it. It looks like a vacation. So let's compare this to eBay's homepage. And yeah, this just feels like 1999, right? So let's see what Macari is all about. And I like to scroll down to the fine print and find out what makes them tick. First off, the about me. And this could be eBay's about me. It could be anybody's about me. It's just a bunch of marketing mumbo jumbo that doesn't give a history or where they came from from about the company. And scrolling down is a bunch of executives that I'm sure are fine people, but they don't offer any insight into Macari's story or history as well. And digging in deeper, I want to know about the buyer protection. And it's really in this section that made me want to try out Macari in the first place. And I quote, Macari does not release payment until the item is delivered and the buyer confirms it is as specified. If an item received is not as described in the listing, the buyer may request a full refund within three days of receipt of the item. And always make sure you do the transactions in the app. If a seller asks you to deal on the phone, on text, or on email, never do that. Always make your communications and transactions inside the app that you're using. Or else all the fail saves that that app tries to do for you, they go bye bye. So I created an account. First, I looked on my list of figures to get and I need a Paplu. And even though Paplu gets looped in to the power of the force line as what collectors call the last 17, Paplu was actually released in 1984 on the third wave of the Return of the Jedi 79 backs. He comes with his highly decorated hood and his pronged staff that is unique to Paplu only. So I went on a Macari search for Paplu. And there was a variety of listings, much like you would see on eBay, but honestly, I like this layout out much better. And we found one on sale for $95 complete. And the scores on the seller were great. Fast responder, reliable, fast shipper. And the price for a complete Paplu right now, yeah, with the highs around 140 and the lows at 115 average, 95 is a great buy. So we picked it up and it came to us in a few days. Packed in a flimsy mailer, okay, I wasn't happy about that, but I can overlook that for this figure. If it was an EV-99 or an IG-88, you know, the ones that are more fragile, yeah, that's not good, but for this one, okay. So I immediately started to take a look at the figure, and I usually take the hood off and check the figure out to make sure it's good, and the figure honestly looked great. So then I checked out the hood and spear, and automatically, when I felt the spear, it didn't feel right. It felt like a smooth, brittle plastic. So maybe I thought I was being weird, so I got out my Chief Chirpa and Wicket to feel their spears, and yeah, those spears had a different feel to them. They had a more rubberish feel to them, and they had more give, meaning that you can bend them and they won't snap, and they'll just bend back into place. And the Paplu one that I got felt like if I even bent it a little bit, it would snap. 
And if you're enjoying the content so far, please hit the like button. That does support the channel. And also, please consider subscribing. And please visit thepadawancollector.com where you can see blogs, bonus material, and you can visit the Collector Depot for accessories that you may need for your collection. So I went to the Imperial Gunnery online and all of the examples for Paplu staff have letters molded on the head of the staff. And the one that I have has no letters molded at all. So automatically that flags this as repro. So I went to check the hood next, first by going to the online reference. The hood is smooth inside and has an EPM or ejection point mold inside at the crown of the inside. And on the one that we have, the mold inside is rough and has been painted instead of having the natural plastic mold color. And even though this does have an EPM, it's definitely a fake. So with that information, I had to go back to Macari, submit a claim, upload the pictures, and submit a return, which we did. And I have to say that that part was very, very easy. I sent the item back, my account was never charged, since the payment doesn't go through unless I give that seller a rating, or it's been after three days. And after three days, if I don't submit a claim, I would have been charged. So in that case, it was really stress and hassle-free. So would I buy from Macari again? Probably but it would have to be from a seller I knew and they wanted me to buy on that platform. And the only reason why I would buy on the Macari platform again is because of the buyer protection that it gives me. So overall, even though I got a reproduction item, my experience was actually positive, but I'm still out a Paplu. So instead of asking anybody on the Facebook groups if they had one or searching through eBay or even going to one of my local shops, I decided to take an even bigger road trip. And you know me, it's always go big or go home. And what is bigger than Texas? Now, I've been to Texas before and went to some pretty amazing shops. And heck, that's where I got my blue graded snaggletooth. And there were some shops that I hadn't been to before. So I packed my bags up again, got on that plane, and went to a toy hunt in Austin, Texas. And there is a shop there called Outlaw Moon. They have been open in Austin since 2014 and are known for their selection of board games, card and role playing games, and vintage toys. And they also hold regular events and tournaments there and are very well known to collectors in the area as a go-to spot to buy and sell collectibles. And plus, a lot of collectors referred me to that store. But I really wish I had come here in the beginning of my journey because they had so much vintage. They even had authentic vintage Star Wars shirts from the 70s and early 80s. And that store is always getting full collections from sellers around that area, so they had collections that they hadn't even sorted through yet and that weren't ready to buy. But they did let me go through it and make offers if I found anything. And I did see a few items that caught my eye. The selection of vintage toys is outstanding and the prices I found to be very fair as I never remember being shocked at seeing any of the prices. And after this year, with as many toy shops, toy cons, and online stores that I've been to, I know when I see prices that I get sticker shock on. But for items that I have no idea about, like this Magic the Gathering card, someone please explain to me why this is $600. To help me keep creating content like this, please become a YouTube channel member with memberships starting as low as 99 cents a month. You'll get early access to videos before the public does, members only live streams, extra entries into all giveaways and special member shout outs. Just hit the join button below the screen and welcome to the Academy. They had an amazing selection of vintage Star Wars and all complete and in great shape. So I decided to take a look at three items. Obviously, I wanted to take a look at the Paplu, but for my grading runs, I also wanted to look at the Farm Boy Luke and the Rebel Soldier. And after looking at the Paplu and checking the authenticity of it, I agreed to get that one. And we said no to the Farm Boy Luke as it had too many visible flaws. So we ended up picking up the Rebel Soldier to send in for a grade. <laughs> and after getting the figures, I hit up Austin a little and did some vintage arcade action. So here's the Paplu that I got, and I wish I still had the other one to compare it to, but looking at the figure without the hood, it's a very nice shade of red-orange, a ginger Ewok, if you will. Now, taking a look at the staff, this one feels right. It has a bend and give to it, like it won't snap. And looking closer, this has a T stamped into the mold. So this one is legit. And for the hood, this one feels a lot better. Not rigid or stiff like the last one at all, but it's soft and has a bend to it while maintaining the shape and bounce back. And it's smooth on the inside and has the correct EPM. 
And overall, the figure looks great, and I would say good enough to send in for a grade, but we're gonna put it inside our case. So let's mark this off our list finally. And we got this over in Austin, Texas at Outlaw Moon, and we got this for $84 complete, which I think is a great price. And we can finally pair this with the coin that Joey and Nilda gifted to us. So if you aren't following Nilda at Appetite for Collectibles right here on YouTube, and also follow Joey over at the Way Back When YouTube channel, and both of those links are down there in the description of this video. And we also have to mark off the Rebel Soldier that we got for our grading run. So when we get to that run, we will send that off. And we picked that up for 20 bucks from Outlaw Moon. And let's place Paplu inside our display case from Collector Displays. And ladies and gentlemen, and only three more figures to go for our complete loose run. So thank you on going on that journey with me. And even though it was a mishap, I learned a lot and I hope that story can help you as well. So if you found this video interesting, please hit that like button. That does support the channel. And please consider subscribing if you wanna see more Star Wars and collecting content from me. And also hit that notification bell so you know when episodes go live. I post videos every Sunday with bonus content throughout the week. Three more figures to go. And as always, my friends, thank you and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.